Where's my potatoes? All served up. Mm. <sighs> Hi everybody, it's uh, dinner time um, and I'm making pie and mash. Not the pie and mash with liquor. Mwah! Love that. Uh, just uh, I made the beef stew, which is part of this video. Um, I thought I'd have enough for a beef stew and mash and um, and also to sort of save some uh, for the pies. But I completely underestimated how much I needed because it's been ages since I made a stew. And it really lovely, tastes delicious. And it'll be fantastic in the pie. It's obviously been in the fridge overnight because that was last night. I was kind of pre-making really for the next day. Um, this is the stew which is gonna go in the pies and there probably will be leftovers. <laughs> I might make more than one pie. I don't know yet because I had, I have two those two bases but I really want to give them away because I, I don't need six and it it only came in a pack of six there wasn't any options to sort of order less so that will be that give the giveaway for two you know two of you to have a pie dish if you want it you don't have to have it but it fits it fits the ninja and if it's just yourself they'll be perfect if you want to make yourself a mini pie um yes so I'm gonna get on and make this pie. To be fair, I've never done a pie like this before. You know where you basically line the pie dish and then cover it over the top with the filling, obviously. I've never done that before. I've always made pies in a larger container for the oven, say with puff pastry or short crust pastry on the top, but it's like an open bottom. So I'm really looking forward to this, especially if you're eating it. I've already um, got nine, you know, the mash just sort of ready in the, um, in the saucepan, 900 grams of Maris Pipers there for us. We're gonna have peas and gravy. I mean, what you got to, haven't you? You've got to have a pie and mash, pie and mash, absolute best. So I'm gonna roll out this pastry, and uh, basically build these pies. So let's get started. I can actually open it. <laughs> uh, yeah, there we go. Okie I'm going to put you up here so you can see from above. See you in a minute. So I'm going to roll it out, the uh, short crushed pastry. This was from Asda, £1.25, ready rolled. Um, I've got a new job, so where I drive to work, there's a big Asda. And sometimes I just run in because <clears throat> it means that the little, the little, my local little is miles away from where I'm, I work. So it's in the complete wrong direction. I wonder if we can fit, how many we can fit. Oh yeah, that's good. That's handy. I mean, we obviously got to have the top, haven't we? Oof. This will be interesting. I might not have enough. <gasps> Ooh. Maybe with the bits. We'll see. Let's hope so. I didn't consider that, so we'll we'll have to see how this plays out. This might be a non-starter. Okay. So let's get a knife, see what happens. I'll just see how this looks. I like this. Great. Should I prick it? I don't know. I don't know what. If you know what to what to do, you know. Do you prick it, or does it really make no difference? Let me know in the comments if you if you know. I, was like, I don't. I don't know. This is my first time doing this, which is why I'm dead slow. <laughs> oh yeah, let's hope we've got enough. We'll have to send the boys out to the little local shop near us. Hope that they've got some. Because this is what's on the menu tonight. I menu plan. I, I, I do a rough menu plan. I will show you one of these days what I do. It's not <clears throat> it's not terribly complicated. I just try and plan what I'm gonna what main meals we're gonna eat eat for a week. And sort of my shopping is um, 
geared towards those main meals. Obviously, lunches, you kind of have a rough idea what, what you're all going to have. So, now, hmm. have I done this the wrong way around? <laughs> Help me, Lord. I can't really turn that upside down, can I? Or can I? So, I'm going to get two, and then I might have to just send the boys. Let's see, let's see. Should be turning it upside down with the pastry in it though, I don't reckon. Well, that stayed in, so that's quite good. <laughs> I don't know if I'm doing this right. If, if there's a better way, please do let me know, because I'm, it's not really, I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> Can you guess? Okay, so that's two. Hmm. All right. See if I can squeeze out two lids out of these, hopefully. Hopefully touch wood. I'm gonna move these out of the way. It's got to get a bit of flour and the rolling pin. Well, I've got a bit of flour. I'm going to try and eke out the lids. Well, let's just get one on. I think we might do this. I think this might, might have saved the day. The boys don't have to take a walk to the shop. That there, roll this again. I think that might do it. Close enough, close enough. Let's um, <laughs> I don't want it to be too thin. Okay, well, we've got four lids, that's quite frankly amazing. So, it's good to know one sheet will do four of these pies. Okay. I'm going to start filling the pies with the mixture I made last night. We've got some cheese. I'm going to put a bit of cheese. Stilton would have been perfect, but I don't have any. Uh, but this will do. Just makes it a little bit richer. A little bit of cheese in each one. And this is what I've got left over. I'm actually going to freeze this um, and use it for pies next another time, you know, later on. In a couple of weeks, or oh, I've just seen the other bay leaf, I'm going to get that out. So yeah, that will that will be a good pie filler in a couple of weeks when we are um, forgotten we've had this for a while. You know, you don't want to eat the same thing too often, but it's delicious. I'll definitely freeze that. Right. Yes. So I've <laughs> got an egg for doing the pie tops, but I'm wondering if do I put egg base around there? I'm thinking I do. So I'm gonna just try and dab it without touching the. Actually, I've got to get my mash on. Must do that because this these will probably cook. It's all about timings. I'm not sure how long these are going to take, so I will make a note once I, once they're cooked, so we'll so we know for future reference. Well, that will do for the moment. Let's get these. Um... Oh, it's not on. Oven. Get the mash on. Now let's get this lids. Get these lids on. This is the wonky lid. I'm going to put a hole in the middle as well.
Well, I'm pleased with them. Dodgy leaf on top. I've got to egg wash them and just wait for the mash to cook for a bit before I put these in because these will cook. I don't know how long we're, we're going to find out, but I don't reckon they're going to take 20 minutes. So they'll they'll do. I'm hoping when we come to eat them, they'll come out of the tin. We'll we'll soon see. I mean, I'll, I'll save this for use at a later date. Right, egg wash, and then let's wait a bit for the um, mash to cook. I'm going to put the beans and um, beans oh, peas. Get them ready. I think they'll do for my first ever proper pie. Let's, proof will be in the tasting, so hopefully, touch wood, they'll taste fantastic. Ooh, nearly, nearly lost that one. <laughs> oh my god, Rosie would have been pleased. Right, see you in a bit. So I had a bit of a dilemma. Basically, these do not fit side by side. They're just a bit too big. So I'm thinking, will this work? I've never, I've, I had these, I've had these for ages. Really, I got these when I first got the Ninja. Hold up, I've got to let Rosie in. Come on, in. Good girl. Shut that door. Um, yeah, so I probably would have to rotate them though. But we'll we'll going to try this. So let's, um, um, the crisper. Ooh, actually, well that's weird. Oh, hold on. It wasn't touching. I'm gonna have to take the crisper plate out. I think. I don't know if that's gonna work. Right. Start it again. Let's get this in. No crisper plate. I'm gonna put that in carefully. Oops. Oh, now it's. It is actually touching a little bit. Not ideal. I'm not sure how I can. That's the higher. See, that's weird. It works on there, but not on there. Is that because there's a dip? <laughs> right, I've got to think about this. I'll be back in a tick. I think I might have worked it out. Not too sure if it's going to work, but it basically, I've got a glass dish at the bottom. I'll take it, I'll deconstruct so you can see. Um, because what happens is when I put that in without the glass dish, it's got these little divots which makes this sort of lower than it than it actually needs to be, and therefore slightly squashing the, the pie underneath. The pie dish might be in the way, the, the glass one I mean, of cooking that. So but I need them to cook at the same time. So this is hopefully will work on a bake setting so i've got two of these luckily so i'm going to put that in nice and carefully um, move that out of the way get this oh oh weirdly this is qu not quite the right size but that might be not a problem hopefully oh look, hold on what am i doing what am i doing what am i doing take that off first Slightly touching, not not the greatest. Um, that's better with the slightly different dish. That's wonky, but it is what it is, and I need them to cook at the same time because the mash is cooking. So I've got to get them on. So let's get them in. I probably will have to rotate and burn fingers, but hopefully not. I'll definitely have to rotate. Just I'd rather not burn fingers. So let's match, bake. We're, we're say 15 minutes, but we're gonna, we're gonna be checking. And I've turned down the mash because I've got to get the peas on as well. Right. Whew. See you in a bit. Right, the first five minutes are up, and I think I'm going to um, um, oh, swap them around because I can smell them cooking. But I don't. The pastry is going to cook quicker than the inside because the inside was chilled. And I'm wondering whether I should have. Um, let it come to room temperature, the beef stew mixture. But hey, we live and learn, don't we? So let's let's get it swapped. Might be a bit awkward this because of the heat. Right, hold up. I need something to rest on. Uh, what am I using? 
心。Where's my tongue? Where's my thingies? These. That's what I'm after. So, don't really want to squash the pie. Looks good. It's only been in five minutes, so it can't possibly. And in fact, the one underneath, come and have a look, isn't doesn't look cooked in any sense compared to that one. So put them side by side so we can have a look. Ugh. This is tricky. Oh. Right, so that's the one on the underside. So this is why swapping them it has to be done really. If we're going to cook all four at the same time, can I lift it? Yeah. Get that one in. that back on get that one back in oopsie daisy Good. oops sorry ninja got a I mean it's gonna look fantastic but you want them all to be cooked at the same time it's actually hot it is a bit okay hold on hold on a bit precarious here get that one there Again, yeah, you can see that's not cooking. So we did. This is good to swap. We're doing the right thing. Oh, and I'm squashing my pie. <laughs> Help! Ah, it's hot. Um, use my apron. Right. Let's get them back in. Right, we'll have to do it again at five minutes, I think. See you in a bit. Five minutes uh, up, so, or the second five minutes of checking. Mm, that looks great, that looks great. I might have to do a temperature check quickly so I know, so we know where we are. Because um, the mash is done, is, is mashed. Have a look. Yeah see the internal but this is good we're, we're swapping you know swapping thingies pie positions it's, it's fiddly but i personally don't mind that rather than i'd rather do this than use the oven that's how how i feel about it and now that that the topping is not is hardened it's easier to get out you know i'm not squashing it and they look they look great it's just the inside needs to get to temperature Oh no, sorry, bear with me. I'm just gotta try not to touch it really because it's getting hotter. Oh. I do need some decent gloves, this is ridiculous. <laughs> right, I'm gonna put that one in and get this one out, keep them warm. Good. I'm pleased with them. I hope they taste great. I mean, it. the beef mixture tasted lovely. So with, you know, you can't go wrong with pastry. Oh, sorry, bear with me. Right, let's get these back in. I might have to add. We'll see where we are at the end. We need to temperature check. Uh, at the end of this four minutes and 46 seconds and probably add I may turn it up actually yeah okay see you in a bit I think they have two minutes on 180 it's too high so I've lowered it back down to 160 I've changed them around again because um, they are still at only 42 and you know I think there's a lot of swapping fiddly annoying but that's ninja i suppose for you just slightly too small drawers for four pies 
If you could do in two, no problem at all. So anyway, let's stick it in. So we're gonna add a couple more minutes. See you in a bit. Right, a bit of action, hold on. I had to take out the ones on the underneath because they were actually to temperature. Um, and now I'm gonna test the ones that were on top. And hopefully they're to temperature because everything's um, ready. Right, let's have a look. Perfect. Let's just test the other one. I'm just going to do it from inside because I can't. Perfect. Right, I'm going to plate up and I'll be back in a bit. See you in two seconds. I just really wanted to quickly show um, oh, it's hot. I'm, quite, I'm pleased with that. Let's try and carefully turn it over. Ooh, a whole pie. Fantastic. Right, I'm definitely plating up now. See you in a bit. Right, so everybody served up. Um, did I show a picture of all and four? Oh, I hope so. I can't remember now. Um, but four pies, four mashes, um, MPs. Yeah, um, and this is mine. I'm not adding the gravy yet because I'm going to break into the pie so you can have a good look and hopefully Ooh. oh this looks absolutely delicious right pie my mouth's watering <laughs> mm. oh that's really lovely I've put, added a glass of wine to the studio, if you remember, um, and you can it comes through quite well. I'll definitely do ale next time, but so I, I like um, doing a mixture of kind of different, you know, beef and ale. Oh, it's delicious. Mmm. I find a bit of beef. I haven't got my glasses on, I can't see. Right, bit of beef. So soft. And I, I mean, I hope you agree. Have come and have a close up. The pastry has come out beautifully. Right, I'm going to add gravy, eat my dinner. Thank you very much for everyone for watching, and thank you for all your lovely comments. See you on the next one. Bye. Oh, delicious.